Compared to many African countries, Namibia is quite industrialized with good infrastructure. Namibia is one of Africa's success stories. Hi, right now I am actually downtown Windhoek City. Windhoek is one of my favorite cities in the world. We are here for a with family, having a good time. Windhoek is the capital city of Namibia. It's a German Dutch name. Some people pronounce it as Windhoek. If you are of the Dutch or German origin, you will say Windhoek. But as English speakers and everybody else, we just prefer to say Windhoek, like wind and hook. Um, it's a beautiful city uh, located in the central part of Namibia. Namibia is one of my um, the favorite countries to visit for various reasons. I wasn't born or raised in Namibia, but my parents are Namibian. So I am Namibian by origin. If you have not heard of Namibia before, do not despair, you are not the only one. Namibia is quite a large country, but with a very small population of about 2.5 million people. Uh, Namibia is located in southern Africa, the southern part of Africa. It is neighbored by um, Angola at the north, Zambia, um, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and South Africa. And on the east, on the west coast, there's the Atlantic Ocean. The Windhoek City um, capital is located right in the center of Namibia. It's a very beautiful place. And um, if you do get a chance to go, please do go and visit. It's a very peaceful country, uh, very stable politically. Um, so I'm sure when you go there, you have a great time. 95% of the people that I meet in the USA where I live have no idea what Namibia is and never heard of Namibia. Most of them, you know, say Nambia or some other name because they just never heard of the country before. That's the thing about Africa. Whenever you don't hear much about a country, it means that country is doing well. There's no war of famine because you only really hear about African countries if there's something bad going on there. The media loves to capitalize on, on the negativity of Africa and black people. So just be mindful of that. If you don't hear a lot about a country or a people, just know that they are doing well. And the media is not going to put out the good news about Africa. They hardly do, uh, at least not, not the mainstream media. People think Namibia is a small country just because they have never heard of it before. Namibia is the 34th largest country in the world, um, and that's quite that's, that's big. Uh, Namibia is a, Namibia Namibia is 12 times the size of the USA, and slightly more than half the size of Alaska. So Namibia is a big country. The only small thing about Namibia is the population, which is about 2.5 million right now. So Namibia is a, is a big underpopulated country with a GDP per capita of about 6,000 US dollars, which is quite high at uh, 48% of the world average and therefore it's considered to be a middle income country. So again, Namibia is considered to be a middle income country, not a poor country uh, because of its high GDP. And of course, that's a topic for another um, day. I'm not going to get into uh, the disparities, uh, we'll talk about that another time. Namibia is blessed with an abundance of natural resources. Namibia produces large quantities of lead, zinc, tin, silver, and tungsten. Namibia is also the fifth largest producer of uranium in the world. It is actually the fourth largest exporter of non fuel minerals in Africa. Namibia is rich in alluvial 
diamonds deposit. Namibia is rich also in diamonds. Namibia has a rich culture from its 13 diverse ethnic groups. The ethnic groups of Namibia are the Sun people, formerly known as the Bush people, Bushmen. You know, just like in the, in the movie, uh, the gas must be crazy. Yes, those are called the Sun people in Namibia. And um, they make up about 3% of, of the population. The Sun people make up about 3% of the total Namibian population. Another ethnic group that Namibia has is called the Owambo, or the, or the Owambo people. Owambo. I am an Oshwambo speaker, so I'm an Owambo because my family is Owambo. And the Owambos uh, make up 50% of the population, so they are the majority um, of the Namibian people. And also, Namibia has white people. I know a lot of, some of you out there, I think a lot of you out there don't believe in white Africans, but white Africans do exist, and they make up 6% of the Namibian of and they make up 6% of the Namibian population. Damara is another ethnic group which makes up 7%. Herero is also another one which also makes up 7%. Bastar make up 2%. The Bastar, the Bastars are like the mixed race people. They, 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 um, the light skinned, if you see them, you consider them to be either Latino or to be, um, to be um, Native Indians of, um, of America. Because um, so they're very light skinned with um, straight hair. Um, so they're called Basta. B A S T E R. The, Na the Nama people make up 5%, Kavango 9%, and the colored. Colored in Namibia basically means uh, people who are, like, who are black but they are very light skinned. It's not the same as like in um, USA where colors means black. Colors in Namibia means those um, mixed people, mixed race people are called colors in Namibia. Um, so you can actually research more into that. Now, Namibia has a very rich um, history and diversity. Um, we have Namibians from all shapes, um, shades and colors. Namibians come in all shades and colors. So um, that's why I always tell people, Namibia, that's why I always tell people, Namibians are not just a certain color or shade. You'll find white Namibians, you'll find mixed race Namibians, you'll find um, Spanish looking Namibians, um, you have the Sun people. You know, it's a very diverse country actually. Colors make up 5.5% of, of the Namibian population. There's also Twanas who make up 0.5%. Uh, those are the Twanas, and we also have the Himba people. These are the very popular Himba people. They usually are tapless. Um, you, you, I'm sure you've seen a lot of their videos and pictures online. Himbas make up about make up 0.5% um, of, of the population as well. Then you have Caprivians who make up 4%. Then you have the Tapnars who make up 0.5%. So if you want to learn more about the people of Namibia, the different ethnic groups. Definitely do a research on that, a uh, Google search, and I'm going to try and do a video on that at some point in the future. Um, I think it's quite interesting. And, and of course, like I said, we call them ethnic groups because in Namibia we don't really have, we don't have tribes. We do have tribes, but they're not called, these are not like your, your average tribe. So that's why we call them ethnic groups. Namibian, Namibian, Namibian tribes or ethnic groups have never been to war with each other. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Oh, 
Katutora is a township in winter. It is Namibia's version of Soweto in South Africa. Katutora and Soweto basically had the same history of apartheid because Namibia did also have apartheid. And I know a lot of people don't know that, but Namibia was under apartheid rule from South Africa, the white people. Just like Soweto, Katutora is where black Namibians were forced to move to by the apartheid regime. Far away from Windhoek City where the white Namibians lived. Today, Katutora has a mixture of modern houses and shacks. It's a people's place where there's a constant it is a people's place where there's constant fun and liveliness. I always feel alive when I'm in Katutora. Because it's just lively. There's so much energy. That's where the people got to just enjoy themselves and have fun. Monday 
I hope you get a chance to visit Windhoek city in Namibia. It's a beautiful place as you can see. Um, you will have a great time there. And of course, um, Namibia is not perfect. Uh, Windhoek is not perfect. So this one to kind of forewarn you about customer service in Namibia. Customer service lacks in Namibia. So um, just brace yourself for not so nice attitudes but on the most part Namibia is a very nice people so you won't you know you won't have a problem with that but when you go to the store maybe don't expect the um the customer service at the level of the usa in other developed countries uh, i think i think the usa has the best customer service so if you go to namibia and you expect the usa customer service to be frustrated so i just want to forewarn you to um be mindful of that Heroes Acre in Windhoek is a, is a memorial site for Namibia's heroes. These heroes played a huge role in liberating Namibia from colonialism and apartheid. Namibia, land of the brave, freedom fight. We have won. Glory to the blood was us our freedom we give our love and loyalty together in unity contrast in beautiful namibia namibia our country Us our freedom, we give our love and loyalty together in unity, contrast in beautiful Namibia, Namibia, our country. Trust in beautiful Namibia, Namibia, our country. Okay, means applaud, applaud.